Welcome back to Our Legacy, the Willie Clark Show Black History Month special. You know, many people know about the story of Rosewood, the North Florida town that was destroyed by whites in 1920. Of course, we saw the movie, right? But not many people know that there was a similar incident right here in Central Florida in the city of Okoy. It occurred on Election Day 1920 when Mose Norman, an African American, went to the polls and attempted to vote. He was turned away, but he returned later with a shotgun. He was disarmed and beaten by whites. And later, his friend July Perry obtained a note from the judge saying that indeed he and Mose Norman were eligible to vote in this election. Later that afternoon, a group of whites burst into July Perry's home. Mr. Perry, armed with a shotgun, killed two of the white men. He was arrested and taken to the Orlando jail. Later on that day, a mob of whites broke into the jail, removed Mr. Perry. He was taken out and lynched. Throughout the remainder of the day in Okoy, a riot ensued as whites went about burning black churches, homes, and businesses. Five blacks were killed, and by the end of the day, no blacks resided in the city of Okoy. It would be 50 years before African Americans would return. Reverend Fred L. Maxwell, who has been the pastor of the St. John Missionary Baptist Church here in Orlando for 34 years, joins us now. He was just 13 at the time of the race riot, but he remembers it very well. Pastor Maxwell, thanks for joining me for the program. I'm more uh, than grateful. Could you <clears throat> take us back to 1920 and your remembrances of the Okoy race riot? I understand you were familiar with Moses Norman and also July Perry. Right. Were, were uh, principals in that. Now, the uh, voting took place the early morning of uh, November 7th, and of course, as a result, uh, a riot, an insurrection occurred. And throughout the day, um, many people were hurt. Mm -hmm. But it just so happened that uh, one good friend of my father, mm -hmm. Mose Norman, okay. was one of the outstanding citizens and property owners in uh, the Okoy area. Mm -hmm. And when he saw that uh, the situation had gotten out of hand mm -hmm. and uh, the, the Clan for at least the mobsters began setting fire to uh, homes of black people, mm -hmm. plus the churches, mm -hmm. two church and uh, Masonic Hall. Mm -hmm. And Mose Norman, uh, he took off in his uh, Columbia Six automobile mm -hmm. and came by the home of a, the home of a family mm -hmm. and uh, called my father and, and related to my father what was uh, going on. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mose Norman was able to escape mm -hmm. the wrath of the mob. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, Mr. July Perry, uh, of course, uh, employing his uh, uh, weapons and ammunition, attempting to defend himself and family, he was shot and mm -hmm. wounded mm -hmm. in his cane. And I understand Mr. Norman had just talked about or come from July Perry's house just before he oh, came yes. to your he, house? He left Mr. July. When he discovered that Mr. July Perry had been shot, mm -hmm. then Moe's, for his safety, mm -hmm. he took off and escaped. Mm -hmm. And he came by our home mm -hmm. and called mm -hmm. my father. Okay. And now of you, course, were, you were over in Apopka. Now, the writing didn't spill over to an Apopka, but what's, what were the senses of the time? I mean, what, what was the mood? amongst people were people I mean even before the the elections took place were people aware there's going to be trouble I would imagine in 1920 and the Voting Rights Act just hadn't been passed uh, yes. in 1920. Uh, now Mr. Norman also said to my father uh, that uh, some nights before perhaps a week before that the Ku Klux Klan had uh, conduct a parade late one night and they were speaking over bugles say warning the blacks that on election day mm -hmm. don't go to the polls. If you do, mm -hmm. it's going to be serious trouble. So these were brave and courageous men. Oh yeah, they knew what they were in for. That's right. And they understood what the problem was. Yes. So um, uh, now, Mr. Norman, of course, before before he came to my father, he came to Orlando and uh, called for then uh, a federal judge. I can't remember the judge's name, mm -hmm. and explain to him what happened. And the judge informed him, says, well, if you can survive this, you can bring a lawsuit mm -hmm. because you are entitled to vote. Mm -hmm. So since they denied you all 
the opportunity to vote, you can sue mm -hmm. uh, the county or the state. Mm -hmm. But so then Mr. Perry left the mm -hmm. judge, came on to my father, and of course informed my father of what happened, and then he disappeared. So we don't know what became of him. You, you were a very young child at that, that point. I was, state, I was 18 how, years how, of age. How did that impact you, your life? What, what, what was the statement there? And I know you've been an outspoken advocate for the rights of African Americans in Central Florida for a long time. Was, yes. Is that one of well, the incidents that inspired you? It, it qu had quite an impact, a devastating impact, because from age six in 1913, my first day in school, uh, it was a wonder to me why was it that uh, we black children had to walk past the white school to go to our black school. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a lot more in there that uh, mm -hmm. time won't permit us now to uh, explain. One, one, one quick question before I let you go, though. You, you stated to me that you felt that if the state of Florida paid reparations to the families that survived the Rosewood, that they should do likewise for Okoye. Would you agree uh, with that statement? Uh, yes, indeed so. Uh, it's, it's my firm belief. Why not? Pastor, thank, Why not? thank you very much for joining the program. Yes, sir. I, I really, really appreciate uh, having you. All right. And thank you, Sun Clark. And uh, may I uh, just commend you for the great uh, work, the great contribution you're making to uh, our uh, most prosperous community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that uh, your continued efforts will do the more to make it better for all uh, concerned. Thank you very much.